the most important thing to do to push back against this is to shed light on it because this influence activity operates in the shadows. Uh, it works because people don't know what's going on. Uh, it works because a lot of it sounds kind of plausible uh, and it works because you don't really know these people who are uh, talking uh, the CCP game, as it were, you don't know much about them. They're just like, well, you know, they're just independent experts and that's their view. And when you start to investigate and look and, and see where they're coming from, you know, the, the royal treatment they're given when they go to Beijing, um, the, the kind of things they write in various places that when they're not so careful uh, about their public presence, you really start to realise that uh, the CCP has has a lot of friends uh, in the West who push its point of view in all kinds of ways, ways and in very subtle ways very often. And, and, and one of the kind of smoke screens that it uses constantly, and we see this coming up all of the time, and it's extremely effective, and that is that People like me and the thousands of others <clears throat> like me uh, who push back and criticise the CCP are anti-China. We're sinophobic, we're closet racists, uh, or like Donald Trump, actual racists. Um, and of course, um, this is this is untrue. Well, Donald Trump is an actual racist, but people like me, we're not. <laughs> and that's why so many Chinese people, including many Chinese Australians, love what we do because they they know what the ccp is up to they've been trying to tell us for years and uh, someone like me comes along with a book like silent invasion and they're cheering they're launching my book uh they're, they're talking about it uh they are encouraging me to get a chinese translation which you know the uh, taiwanese publisher was very happy to do they love this stuff in taiwan incidentally so you know go tell them they're sinophobic and they love it in Hong Kong to go tell them their side of it. I mean, really. And yet it's an extremely powerful device, a smoke screen that the CCP and its apologists use, and it works brilliantly on so many people on the left. The left is a real problem because they are so terrified about being accused of being sinophobic um, that they won't uh, criticize this really monstrous regime that you know, has locked up a million Uyghur people in concentration camps and is carrying out cultural genocide while we speak. Uh, it's crushing pro-democracy sentiment in, in Hong Kong um, uh, ruthlessly um, and it's jailing uh, 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 pro-democracy uh, lawyers in China. It's silencing doctors and scientists who want to talk about COVID-19. Um, it's threatening and I'm very afraid may well attempt a military invasion of Taiwan, an independent nation of uh, Chinese heritage people, uh, for the most part, who, who want nothing to do with the main world. It's an extremely aggressive, uh, almost fascistic um, uh, uh, country, which is very nationalistic, built around a strong leader which has a cult of personality, and um, militarizing everywhere, seizing land in the South China. But people on the left, you know, it's blindingly obvious. This is not a regime you want to do, defend it by in any way whatsoever. Not only, of course, people say, of course, I'm not doing that, or ignore its crimes. But so many people on the left are terrified of being accused of being a racist. There's an absolute failure of heart uh, on the left. You know, I think that in years to come, it will be a matter of shame uh, for many people on the left who wish they had spoken out sooner uh, before um, you know, it was impossible any longer to deny that uh, this is a, you know, an extremely oppressive regime that no one should have anything to do with.